Welcome back everyone, this is Jaronitis. I am now going to attempt this again. My Anyone who's seen my first five videos uh, of me getting started on Feed the Beast Ultimate might have realized that I made a major mistake when starting up. So we're going to correct that mistake real quick and, well, basically start all over again. Alright, so we're going to go into single player. This is the old world that everyone watched me create in my first five videos. The problem that I ran into is that when I created the new world, we're going to name this world New New Jaronitis. And I had the world options set up. What I did not realize was that I needed to find biomes of plenty type. Uh, when I did that previous one, I didn't have biomes of plenty and therefore did not select biomes of plenty. So my first five episodes were in a world where Biomes of Plenty wasn't active, and, well, I wanted Biomes of Plenty, and I didn't realize I made that mistake. So we're going to use the bonus chest. We're going to give the seed Jaronitis, because that's who I am. And we're going to go ahead and get started on this world. Now, in my first five videos, the first world that I created to record in, it spawned me in, like, the pretty much the worst possible place. So, you know, I'm not exactly disappointed that I'm going to start over again, unless it does the same thing. Let's see what happens. If you watched my first five videos, then you know that I spawned in a uh, frozen wasteland in the middle of an ocean, and that was wonderful. Um... I was talking about hopefully not spawning in a jungle, and I hope I don't this time, but I, I take the jungle over the wasteland. And, well, this is neither jungle nor frozen wasteland, so, well, I spawn next to a hole in the ground. Isn't that wonderful? Well, that's a decent little hole. Alrighty, well, um, what is this? Was it just like grass? Oh, look, there's something. Okay. It is barley. Okay, I've heard about barley. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm not horribly disappointed in starting all over again. Uh, not going to really bother me too much to get out of that frozen wasteland. And uh, we're just going to start from scratch. Uh, if you watched my first five videos last time, then some of the stuff I'm going to cover right now is going to be uh, stuff that you've already seen in previous uh, in my previous videos, because I'm not going to just start there and assume people have seen my previous videos, because I really don't think too many people are, will have seen those. Or this one, for that matter. But we'll cover that when we get to it. So we're going to break down some of this barley now, because from my understanding, barley is going to become wheat. And wheat is food, and we like food. So, and besides, i got to do something while I'm talking. I think my sound might be turned up again. Let's grab this stuff and check that. Seems kind of loud to me. And how do we wind up with this again? Recipe mode, thank you. Close that. And. Oh, that's right, sound. We're going to check. Nope, sound and music both back down. Difficulty normal. I usually play on easy. Um, just because I don't like dying so much. But we're going to play on normal. Give it a try. How hard can it be, right? As he dies the very thousandth time. Wow, what a great starter to a startup chest. It gave me four four smits in my startup chest. How can you argue with that? Okay, well, let's see. I don't want to start in the... Well, actually, I kind of do want to start in the barley field. Let's take up the stuff that's here. Let us... Well, I don't think I can convert the barley because I don't have anything yet, but let's make this into planks. Make the planks into a crafting table. And then let's take a look around. Let's go uphill, away from the hole in the ground, because, if you again, if you watched my previous five videos, you would understand that I like falling into holes in the ground. I do it a lot. It's not the most desirable thing, but I do it. Okay, nice open space. Um, F3. This is a pasture biome. If it's a pasture biome, I should have lots of, you know, cows and sheep and pigs. I'm not seeing them. 
Well, mayhaps it's just pasture by name. Well, I think this right here would be a good opening spot. Well, it's not really a hole in the wall. I prefer to have a hole. There's some coal. Yeah, let's just head east. We're going to use this spot right here. And this will be my hole in the wall base. At least for starts. I love these four smiths. I did not know what they were when I first started. But man, they are fun to play with. And we're going to get some coal right off, so that's nice, too. The other thing we're going to need, obviously, is some wood. So we're going to have to go chop some trees. Thankfully, I saw some trees in the background. Ellie, you know, I'm not in a jungle, so that's nice. I'm not in a frozen wasteland. You know, I always said that jungle was the worst. Uh, I've been corrected. Frozen Wasteland is by far the worst, in my humble opinion. <laughs> I said humble opinion. That's funny. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and, well, we should probably... How do I want to do this? Do I want to go higher? No, that'll take that out. We're going to go lower. Oh, wow, it works on barley, too. Sweet. I always feel cramped if you only have a two space. I, I need at least three space. I prefer higher ceilings, but when you're making your hole in the wall for the first night, you don't tend to worry about uh, how high the ceilings are. So we're going to get this ready and set up, and then we will go harvest some trees. Oops. Alrighty, this will make a decent hole in the wall. Oop, missed some coal. Alright, if anybody watched my first three, uh, first five videos, they know that I was working on an automated mining setup. I will be getting back to that as soon as possible. And... Obviously, that's going to take some time, but in the meantime, we're going to just go on like normal. I promised you guys I'd show you the coding and whatnot for, or how to access the coding for the other stuff, and I'm still going to do that, but again, it's just going to take some time, and wow, I used that wrong. No, up there. Put this up here, and this up. Dadgummit, fine. All right, we're just going to put this here. We're going to light this place up so I don't wind up coming home after chopping trees to have a creeper sitting here. Because creepers like jumping out at you. It's, it's their nature! <laughs> oh, yes, I did. And, yep, okay, that is how I thought it was. I can never remember how to evenly split this stuff while dragging it across, but I guess I just have to deal with it this way. Alrighty, now, if I'm not mistaken, three wheat equals bread. So, yes, that means we will have some bread to eat while we go chop trees. And we're going to throw some stuff in storage here. Don't want to lose this stuff, just in case. We're going to keep some... Well, no, we don't really need to keep that. And I used all the wood up. Okay, so that's fine. We'll store all this stuff keep that with me. Actually, you know, that's just wasted anyway. While I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and make some furnaces. I might as well. Alrighty, this is a good little startup place. Let's go get some wood before we wind up in trouble. Oh, what's the other thing do? Wow, this is incredibly handy, and because the force mitts cause more saplings to drop in trees, they also are making this drop more of the barley. So this will help me get more bread to start out with. 
So yeah, I love the Force Mitts. Uh, I never really got into the Force stuff. Uh, I think it's called Dark Craft. Uh, there's apparently quite a few really amazing things that can be done with Dark Craft. I did not uh, get into that, and I actually don't know much about it. But uh, we'll have to make it a point to uh, look up some of that stuff at some point. Okay, we're supposed to be getting wood. The barley will be here forever, so let's gather up what I've chopped, and we will go chop this tree down. I definitely like this terrain. Everything looks to be a lot nicer, more hospitable. Should be a lot better place to start off. So let's go up to the top of this hill and see what we can see. Okay, well, here's some more coal. That's good. More barley. Barley as far as I can see. Oh, that's a good question. Does this stuff replant? It does replant. Well, if it replants, how do you grow it? I don't get any seeds. Well, we'll just have to figure that out. Unfortunately, when it comes to the first night, time is not on your side. You gotta grab what you can grab and get back. You know, this is actually a pretty nice place over here. And according to the radar, there's quite a gathering of skeletons over here. I'm wondering if maybe there's a dungeon or a spawner of some sort. Let's go look at the skeletons and see if they kill me. Okay, well, we'll have to make it a point to come back and look here. Let's see, let's put... This here. And we'll eat some bread, so we're gonna starve to death. What is that? Oh, it's just barley. I saw the barley in the shadow and I was like, what in the world? Couldn't tell what it was. dark already. Okay. Well, that was faster than I expected. Ooh, rubber trees. Always good. Hopefully be useful. Oh, there's my tendency to walk off cliffs again. You will see it happen frequently. Okay, look, we got uh, swamp lands of some sort, and you know what? It's getting way too dark, way too quick for me to be standing out here being stupid. Okay, so we are roughly 10 minutes in, because we're getting dark, and oh, there's that hole again. Bonsai! Ow. I thought I'd clear it, really! Okay, that's where really, the... It's funny, you know, 10 minutes in and I've already lost my house. And now we're fixing to have enemies. Yep. There's a skeleton. No, that's a creeper with some sort of fiesta hat. Ah, here we go. Okay, good. I thought maybe I'd gone too far. Uh, no sheep. I noticed I didn't see any sheep. This pasture land sucks. <laughs> Alrighty, so rubber wood is turned into jungle wood planks. That's fine. We need wood planks. How should we start out? Well, I already broke a force mint. We're going to need more chests. So let's go ahead and make some more chests. That swamp land down there should be good to find some clay. Should be easy to find clay in that area. So that will be a good thing. Always need more clay. Alright, well, we're going to go ahead and sort things through a little bit. 
And then we're going to have to go out and look for... I guess some sheep, because I mean, I definitely want a bed. You gotta have a bed. <sighs> Excuse me. Alrighty, so we're going to have. Well, let's go ahead and make some more wheat. And then we can go ahead and make some more bread. And then we won't starve to death. What in the world was that? Wheat flour. Bake me to make bread also used in baking cake. Okay. Let's make one. Well, actually, you know what? Let's make three of these. Because if you can cook this and actually make bread out of it then that means instead of using three wheat to make one bread you may use one wheat to make bread along with dude that is awesome so that wow I just wasted a whole bunch of wheat okay well that's good to know information to have um, wow okay so we've got a skeleton stalking me out here that's all well and good lots of enemies that's all well and good so we're going to do a couple things in here since we can't accomplish anything out there at the moment. Now, with my four smiths, I really feel like I don't really need to make beginner's tools like, you know, a wooden axe or even a cobblestone pickaxe seems a bit... Well, I guess I'll have to do that. But the four smiths chop through so much so well, it's kind of... It makes me feel like it's not a, there's not as much point in making this stuff. But we're going to make it anyway just because... We will eventually need it. Alright, we're going to make an axe. We're going to make a pickaxe. We're going to make a hoe. And we're going to make a shovel. Am I missing anything? I don't think so. We're going to make another pickaxe because inevitably we're going to do this again. So. Alright, you know what? Let's make another shovel too. Actually, we're going to make another two shovels, because come morning, we're going to go over there, and we're going to see if we can't find some clay and some gravel uh, and some sand. And those all require shovels to get, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to... Here we go. For now, we're not going to worry about sorting things. I will worry about sorting things off camera, because you guys really don't need to see me sorting stuff. So we're going to store that, and that, and we're going to keep this and this. Okay, so we're going to put pickaxe. Oh, a sword. A sword. Of all the things to forget, I forgot a sword. Oh, we're going to go out there and explore, and hopefully nothing will kill us. Oh, maybe we should bring a sword. Nonsense. Okay, we're going to start with the sword, then the glove, then the pickaxe, the shovel. We won't need the hoe for now, because we're not getting into that yet. And the axe. The rest of this stuff can go up here. We're going to leave the cobblestone and the sticks behind. And that should pretty much set us for when the sun comes up. Hello? Anybody out there? Guess not. Okay, so I guess in the meantime, we are going to, since this is the beginner's base, we will start building my stairway down to what will become the mining area. Maybe we'll run into something useful. I should probably not use my force mist for this now that I think about it. Ah, oh, but it's so much slower. You know what? While we're waiting for morning to come, let's take a second and let's look up force mitts. Okay, the force mitt. You make a force mitt with Force ingot, iron ingot, leather, and cobblestone. Well, that's not going to be too bad. You know, leather you have to get from cows. Cobblestone, we'll have to figure out where to get that, right? <laughs> I don't know where to get cobblestone. What do I do? We have to find a very special cobblestone biome. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, 
force ingot. I'm not sure. I mean, I found them in chests before, but I don't know where you get them. Obviously, from force nuggets, that's useless. And oh, here we go. A force gem plus two iron ingots equals two force ingots. Okay, so we can make that stuff really easy. That's actually incredibly easy. So good. We can always make ourselves some more of these when it comes time. But for now, since I don't have any materials whatsoever, we're not going to take the time to uh, to break these. We'll use it. Yeah, we're going to. I'm not going to take the time to break them. We're not going to uh, break the force mitts unless we have to, because they're just going to be too useful for other things. And at the moment, I can't replace them, so it'd be better to just do this this way. So, I know this is a bit of a boring night to spend, but I still don't have my video editing software working yet. I'm, I'm working on the video editing stuff, but, uh, well, me and a good friend of mine, uh, I'm a little bit inept when it comes to, to certain things computer-wise, and he's helping to explain to me how the stuff works and, and how the software is supposed to function. Right now, I, I just, the, for some reason, the software won't recognize the video that I'm taking. So, when we get that sorted out, boring stuff like this will be cut out. But uh, since, you know, I don't want to make a 14-minute beginning video, I want to go for a full half hour, you all will just have to listen to me talk about how boring it is to watch me do what I'm doing. Now, that's the other thing I didn't do. I didn't make any more torches. So, let's go up here. We're going to see how close today it is. Almost daylight. Or is it daylight? Eh, close enough. Okay, let's see. We need some sticks and the coal. There's the coal and the sticks. And for some reason, I just love to use the crafting table to make torches, even though it really isn't necessary. Alrighty, let's see if we can catch anything burning to death. If we can, we might actually get something decent. I thought I saw a skeleton. Yep, there we go. We got... Ooh, a miniature red heart. Awesome. Um, we'll use that later to make uh, our health increase by quite a bit. Uh, two bones and two arrows. I'm not going to yell about that. But I do see this gravel over here, and I want it. Assuming I can do it with a stone shovel. Excellent. Looks like it might be copper is what I would think, based on it being orange like that. And it is. Okay, good. So we found some copper right off the surface. Not really a whole lot of use for cobble straight copper cobble. No use for cobble. No use for cobble directly after the first opening part of the game, but we will need quite a bit of it later, so Alrighty, there seem to be a whole bunch of guys up under here. There's probably a giant hole in the ground, like a cavern or something. So I'm going to walk over here, and I'm going to dig straight down and see if I can fall to my death. Actually, it's... Oh, I probably did that. Yeah, you know, we're just not gonna. My luck, I'll fall into a place where there's monsters, and then I won't have any armor, and I'll just die horribly. And Well, it's really not the best way to start up something like this. So let's go over here. I believe it was over here. Yes, good. All right, let's go for a swim. Ow. Let's see if we can't kill ourselves. Really quickly. Alrighty. Let's see. We've got... Is this sand or clay? Clay. Good. We need clay. Well, we need gravel and sand, too. But I can find gravel and sand other places. Right here, I think, is going to be about the only place for clay. There's that breathing thing again, I swear. 
Everyone says it's uh, necessary. I swear, I I personally believe that it's overrated. <laughs> oh man, I was playing around in Ultimate Feed the Beast Ultimate so much, and whoa, playing Feed the Beast Ultimate, and I had the uh, power armor, and hello. Do it. Well, I guess that's one way to mine. Oh, creepers. Why do you torment me so? And they answered unanimously, because we can. And because it's their programming. Alright, well, you know, I don't want that to happen again. And I have the torches, so let's light this little sucker up. There's really not a whole lot to it, but... Uh, I'm always open for more coal, so... I was just fortunate to find the gravel here. Normally, I find gravel to be really annoying because it gets in the way while you're caving and you have to switch tools to get it, but early on in the game, since I need it, I'm happy to see it. Later on, when I don't need it, I'll be like, Daggum gravel getting in the way. Why do they put gravel in this game? Okay. All right, 23 gravel and 40 clay. Is that a desert? Should I really be going out here? We're gonna swim out into the middle of nowhere. Seems like a good idea. Is that? I bet that's quicksand. No? Sticky situation. What in the. Mud? Okay. I've not seen it, so I'm gonna take some of it since I really have no idea what in the world it's for. And it led me to some iron, which is always good. So let me get stuck in the water current, which is always annoying. Alrighty. Mud. Mud. I just cannot fathom why there would be mud! Okay, let's see. Mud. Mud is used for... Mud is used for... There we go, and you... What? A muddy pickaxe? Why would you make a muddy pickaxe? Okay... Sure. Muddy sword, muddy shovel, muddy hoe, muddy axe, muddy... Seriously? Scythe? And a muddy disc? <laughs> you know, I, I really won't say much. I don't have anything else to make armor out of, and it's... I mean... 
can it be any worse than uh, than no armor at all? I think I'm gonna make myself some muddy armor. It doesn't. That just doesn't sound right. I mean, am I hiding from the predator or something? You know, cover myself in mud so he won't see my heat signature. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, um, fun stuff. Okay. Well, uh, this seems like uh, <laughs> an interesting way to end the day. Um, I'm not sure where home is anymore. I've lost track. Okay, there's my barley field, so at least that's something. Um, we were north of it? South of it? I don't know. It's not quite the end of the day yet. I'm gonna... Well, let's just go over here and see if we can't see past this hill. But then we're gonna have to close up shop for the, for this episode anyway. We will, uh... I'll probably close this episode and immediately start the next episode, because I don't want to actually close the game not knowing where I am. Uh, the way my memory works, I will think I'm somewhere, and then when I load the game back up, I will wander off into nothingness, thinking I'm going where I need to go. And that's not a good thing, so we're going to uh, try to find some way to know where I'm supposed to be going before I actually turn the game off. And of course, I'm going to grab any ores that I get. And is this more mud? Okay, what biome am I in that there's mud? I am in a more biome. Oops, there goes my shovel. Well, I predicted I'd lose a shovel. Oh, I still haven't found any sand yet. I need sand. Okay, this is... Okay, this is not my field of barley. And it's... Where's the sun? Oh, there's some appetite. That'd be good to get later. Okay, we are officially way too lost for words. There's a nice little forest. Get where we can look around and see what's going on. Okay. I don't see my field of barley anymore, but it was back that direction, so. Yeah, I'm in trouble. I'm in lots and lots of trouble. I'm going to get killed because I'm out here and I don't even have a crafting station so I can build myself some muddy armor. And there's... What in the world is that? Uh-oh. It's never going to... Ooh! Ooh! A village! Okay. Um, we're going to make a dash for that village. A uh, mad dash for the village and... It's a zombie with... I don't know what that is. There's a zombie with something on his head. It's one of the hats, and whoa! I'm gonna see if I can kill this guy without dying. It's just a simple zombie. I should be okay. Yay! Achievement get Monster Hunter. And my inventory's full. Okay, good. Wonderful. I probably don't need that flower anyway, and I don't know if I got that hat or not, because I got the Monster Hunter. It didn't tell me. Doesn't matter, we're going to hide out in this village for the night. And this is going to close down this episode. I will get indoors where I'm safe. And we will uh, close down the episode. And then I will have to find out what kind of stuff we've got in this village. And then try to find my way home to my hidey hole. Or maybe I'll just... Well, no, I left too much stuff. I was going to say maybe I'd actually just set up my my home in this village since there's so many pre-built buildings and farmland and stuff like that but i'm really not sure exactly okay i'm in a boreal forest 
I don't know exactly what a boreal forest is, um, and I left way too much stuff back at my other house. So I am going to, whoa, I'm going to get shot by a skeleton. Come on. Nope, not going to stay in that house. I need a house with a door. Oh, I'm about to have a lot of doors if that creeper catches me. Oh, look, a good source of gravel. That'll work. As long as this creeper doesn't blow me up. Blacksmith shop. Ah, the blacksmith shop doesn't have a door. Okay, well, we're just going to wall ourselves in. Let's see what's in the chest. And... <laughs> yeah, that's three diamonds. And a blacksmith chest. Okay. This is uh, hard to top. So we're going to light this place up. And we're going to shut her down. Thanks for watching. And... We'll see you next time.